And I'd like to introduce our panel, which I do not see them. <laughs> so, uh, unless they are in the audience. Come on up. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to introduce the first guy. His name is Rico Gonzalez Nosa. Give him a hand of applause. <laughs> Thank you, Rishi. And Roger Bush. Thank you. These two gentlemen work with the Small Business Administration. And the SBA, obviously, you know, is, is key to uh, a, a key government agency to help and assist business owners with recovery of a national disaster. These two gentlemen, when I was talking to them earlier, told me to read what's on the business card, and that's exactly what they do. So I, like a person in the military, follow orders. So basically, they do federal disaster loans for businesses of all sizes, private, nonprofits, homeowners, and renters. So gentlemen, it's your show. Thank you, Rishi. And thank you to the Houston Association of Realtors for having us today. Hopefully, we'll keep you awake for another 50 minutes. Um, Roger and I will go through the highlights of the uh, SBA loan program and open the floor for questions. But if at the end uh, some of you still have questions, we'll remain on the floor to answer individual questions. For those taking notes, we have some flyers sitting on the um, lobby on a, on a table right there, so you can take uh, that information. It's a summary of what the SBA loan program is about. So I would like to start uh, making um, an important distinction about SBA. SBA typically is um, uh, an, an organization that supports the creation and development of small businesses. The Small Business Administration that we represent today is uh, the one dedicated to the, is the Office of Disaster Assistance, is the one dedicated to support with uh, federal loans uh, through uh, disasters like Harvey. So SBA is the primary source of federal funding at very low interest to recover uh, uh, or cover the cost of repair or replacement of personal uh, property um, or property for businesses, um, most nonprofit organizations, homeowners, and renters. In terms of um, businesses, the Small Business Administration offers up to $2 million in loans to replace or repair um, property from businesses, and that property may include uh, inventory, um, equipment, or the location where that business operates. In addition to the um, business loans, there is a component, part of that $2 million cap, which is the um, economic injury loan. And that economic injury loan is designed to provide uh, funds to cover for working capital expenses uh, for businesses that have been affected by Harvey. Those working capital expenses uh, are, uh, for instance, uh, payroll expenses. Um, it, it doesn't cover, for instance, a loss of sales or loss of business. But if the business, for some reason, stop or reduce the operation because of the um, flooding, uh, SBA can provide an economic injury loan to cover for the uh, cost of the bills electricity, uh, water, uh, insurance, even the mortgage uh, or the rental of that, of that business. This is economic injury loan and is part again of the um, loans provided uh, for businesses. I think it's important to note here that the deadline for the economic injury loan is May 25th, 2018. And I want to highlight the distinction here because the deadline for all other loans is tomorrow. So tomorrow is the last day to apply for um, business loans or loans for uh, homeowners or renters. Um, in terms of uh, homeowners, 
SBA provides up to $200,000 in um, loans to repair or replace the primary residence. Again, $200,000 uh, for repair or replacement of the primary residence. In addition, for homeowners and renters, there, is, um, uh, there are funds available up to $40,000 to cover uh, the replacement of personal property. That is furniture, clothing, even a personal vehicle uh, that is not covered by insurance. Um, there are those who are hesitant to apply or disqualify themselves from applying to these loans under the fears that they won't qualify, they don't want another loan. Um, we highly encourage everyone that needs uh, the financial assistance to apply for the loan. And what they need to do first is register with FEMA. And after they register with FEMA, they will be referred to SBA to complete a loan application. You don't have to uh, take the loan. Uh, or you don't have to take the entire uh, amount of the loan. You can take uh, as much as you want, but it's important that you go through the process. Again, these are very low interest rate uh, uh, federal loans, and as such, they don't have to, they don't include um, uh, administrative costs, uh, closing costs, uh, none of that. So these are federal uh, funds. Uh, provided by the federal government. Um, I would like to uh, share uh, the website where you can find the uh, disaster recovery centers where you can go in person to fill out an application or uh, you can do it as well uh, in, by calling our 1-800 number, 1-800-659-2955. Again, it's 1-800-659-2955. And the website where you find the application to complete it online or the information about the location of the disaster recovery centers is uh, sba.gov Harvey. sba.gov uh, slash Harvey, I'm sorry. So you'll find in the flyer in front, there is another uh, uh, website. It is the same website of the SBA. The one that I'm giving you is the easier one, the easiest one to remember. And it's sba.gov slash um, Harvey. Um, Roger, any, anyone, anything else that you, you would like to add that I haven't mentioned? Well, I think you covered it pretty well. Uh, we just want to stress again, just one more time, deadlines tomorrow. That's to get registered with FEMA. We were hoping a FEMA rep might be here, but, and we can't speak for FEMA, but uh, if you know someone or if you haven't and you had damage, you haven't got registered with FEMA, very important that you get registered. Tomorrow's deadline, it's, uh, they've already extended it uh, two different times. It was, it, when they come out in a declaration like this, you get 60 days to apply for government benefits. This was so big, they extended it out uh, uh, 30 plus more days to the uh, uh, tomorrow, November 30th. So, so if you know someone or if you haven't, uh, get registered with FEMA. That's the key thing. If uh, you do have uh, physical damage, uh, to your home or a business, uh, that's the date tomorrow is to get that loan package back to us so we can get it into uh, processing. We act as a bank, so we actually originate the loan. We verify the damage through the SBA. We process the loans. All the loans are proce uh, processed right here in Fort Worth, Texas for all declarations. And, uh, and we close the loan then. We act as our own escrow too, so it's a full service start to finish we help you fill out the application and we'll close the loan for you walk, walk all the way through so just key thing like uh, rico mentioned deadline tomorrow uh, these loans can be as low as for homeowners 1.75 it's a fixed rate up to 30 years for repayment businesses at a low uh, can be as low as a 3.3 fixed up to 30 years nonprofits 2.5 fixed up to uh 30 years for repayments. So landlords, people that own the property, they can come to us. Uh, as he mentioned, the went, uh, renters are eligible up to 40,000 for their personal property. 
Uh, the owner of the property comes under the business loan. They're eligible up to that $2 million, as the expense uh, uh, mentioned, uh, up to 30 years for repayment. So keep in mind there's no fees on this, no prepayment, and we've deferred that first payment out uh, one year. So try to make it as easy as we can. We know people aren't looking for loans in these cases, but uh, it is a pretty good program. Uh, uh, for the ones and just so you know that a lot of times you hear that nobody's taking this it's hard to get uh, dot that or whatever we are currently right now uh, as of yesterday's standing we've approved uh, well over 2.6 billion and that's just for Harvey here in Texas so um, any questions sir I've got oh, I, uh, applied yes. for FEMA and got approved for an SBA loan. I got the first disbursement, and this is 175, like you just stated. But I was talking to somebody recently who said some were even lower than that. I said, well, I don't think so, but is that no, – how do they I determine the rates? It, I mean uh, – It can be as low as. That's lowest okay. we're going to go, 1.75. Okay. Right. Okay. Some cases, if you have a very, very substantial net worth, not too many fall into this category. But we always run into a few will because there's a percentage of them. If you have a very substantial net worth and uh, income, you may get a higher rate, but the okay. lowest is 1.75. Good to know. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my home flooded, and one thing we're considering doing, like Ed Wolf said, is raising our home. Can SBA loan funds be used for the expense to lift a home five or six feet up out of, uh, I guess, flood homes way? We do have a program. It's called mitigation. We don't go 100%, but we can go up to if you decide to do any kind of mitigating uh, uh, things to your home. Uh, we can go up 20% of the damaged amount of the property, so we can help you out there. It's not a full, but let's say you had $100,000 worth of damage. We could increase it 20% to help you out to try to do that. Yeah, thank you. Any other questions? Got one in the back. There's been lots of uh, conflicting information, and I have a client who leased a house and lost everything in it, but his apartment that he lived in is not going to be uh, condemned, so they're going to rebuild it. Would this be a program that could help him try to recap, recoup some of the losses in his new home or future home? And if so, does he need to register for that? You say he's in an apartment. He was in an apartment, and his first level apartment flooded, so he lost every single thing inside due to the flood. Okay. Got him into the new place, but he has no furniture now. Yeah, that, that comes under the rental portion of it. That's where we say we make low interest rate loans to homeowners and renters as so, well for their okay. personal property, yeah. up to $40,000 okay. to replace any personal property through this program here, and he has to register by tomorrow through the website you just gave us, correct? Correct. Correct. And these flyers uh, up back on the table has all that information, too. The websites, the uh, 800 numbers, and our program, so. How long does it take to process the loan? From the time they apply to the time you're saying to get the money, how long does that take? It may take up to 30 days of the application process. There are three milestones in that process. Basically, the application process, uh, where you complete the application, then the appraisal, and then the closing of that uh, loan. After uh, the loan has been approved, when the closing uh, uh, time comes, there will be uh, time depending on how uh, soon the paperwork is submitted to uh, close on that loan. But the average uh, uh, time that we estimate is uh, 30 days. What happens to the renter who doesn't have the qualifying income and, and does not have the income for an SBA for the 40000 that you mentioned? The, the renter that didn't qualify, you, you correct, asked? Correct, correct. 
once you complete the SBA application, if uh, you are declined, then we refer you back to FEMA uh, to uh, receive assistance under a program called Other Needs Assistance Program that is under FEMA. That's why it's so important to register with FEMA uh, first, because FEMA will refer to SBA and that will uh, serve to send you back in case that loan is not approved. Okay, so that automatically happens from SBA. It's followed back to FEMA? That is correct. Okay. And then one other step, I want to go to that. If you want to come back to SBA, we don't, we don't say no to you and it's over. We give you a, probably a verbal, you know, why you got declined. Let's say it was repayment ability or something to that effect. And uh, you want to come back to us, maybe the spouse got a job or you got an increase or paid off. You get a, what we call a six months reconsideration rights. So if you still don't get the needs you need from FEMA and that, and you want to come back to us, and that's on any loan, six months reconsideration rights uh, to uh, see if we can get you back into the system. Well, thank you so much. I don't see any other hands, but uh, I hope that thank helped you. some of your people.